Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm bringing you a different video this time. I'm going to show you a time lapse of how I've made myself a couple of travel brush cases using some hard plastic pencil cases, kitchen sponges, and all purpose glue. You see, last year I traveled a lot, and every time I traveled, I took a sketchbook, a palette, and some brushes in case I had some free time to paint. Initially, I was using washi tape to secure my brushes to the inside of my sketchbook, and I was careful to keep the sketchbook upright all throughout the travel. This worked for a while, until I was unlucky and one of my brushes became loose and the bristles got bent. After that happened, I started using a long plastic zip pouch to keep my brushes all together and also kept this inside my sketchbook upright. Eventually, this zip pouch started to not close properly. So I looked around for other ways of keeping my brushes safe while traveling. I found a few ideas. Either get travel brushes, where the handle becomes a cap. Water brushes. Get a purpose-built brush case. Or make one of those brush cases myself. This video is basically the time-lapse of this whole process. I got myself a couple of hard plastic pencil cases from the store Muji that I thought would be perfect for travel. I first checked which brushes could fit into each case. Some of them are too long, but I don't mind painting with shorter brushes, so I'll be trimming the handles in the future. The next step was to cut the kitchen sponges to size. The goal was to get pieces that would easily fit into the width of the cases. As for the height of each sponge, I kept it at about 2 to 3 cm, which I think should be enough to properly hold the brushes in place. For the small case, I wanted it to carry just three essential brushes. So after fitting the sponges, I divided them equally so that I had three gaps in each sponge. To secure all the sponge inserts, I used regular all-purpose glue. I didn't want to use super glue as sometimes it can create a cloudy haze on certain plastics. Also, by using all purpose glue, I might be able to change the sponges if they get damaged with time. I'm sure the plastic case will outlive the sponges. I left the glue to dry for a couple of hours before testing if they were able to hold the brushes. For the bigger case, I wanted it to be able to carry both smaller and bigger brushes. The lid on this case is also deeper, so I added sponges on the lid as well. In total, this case fits 5 smaller brushes on the lid and 3 bigger brushes on the bottom. Both cases turned out great. I think I'll be using the smaller one more often as it is more portable. 
but the big one is also a great option to keep around in case I need different types of brushes. As for the smaller bits of sponges that are left from this project, I'll be using them in the same way as the sponge that came with the Sakura Koi watercolor set that I've been using in my previous videos. These sponges are very useful for cleaning your brushes, your palette, or even in lifting a bigger area of color from your paper. Play around with them the next time you are painting and see what effects you can create. I'm going to leave you to watch the rest of this time lapse, as usual, at the sound of some music. In the meantime, if you have any questions about the process, drop me a comment down below. Enjoy!
So, what did you think of this video? I hope it was helpful, especially if you're looking for a solution to keep your brushes safe while traveling. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also click the notification button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time!